today is when the real wedding takes place. The whole this whole trip was basically for today, and it's uh, at the Gurdwara. I'm a little late. Uh, the vlog hasn't been edited. Uh, I'm in a little bit of trouble. Waiting at the end of the lane for a few cousins to pick me up, and we're heading out of here. to get to the main road to get to the McDonald's. Long, long process. A lot of the wedding processions were done and then um, uh, it was time for longer but Anad has a white stomach and his stomach couldn't process enough Thai food. That's couldn't, a lie. Couldn't process that much Thai food so now we're at McDonald's. We were sitting outside and we received a message from his sister saying, do you want to go to get the McDonald's? So, Here we are. And they have no veggie burgers, so I'm eating fries. I'm left handed and right handed. Can you please switch spaces? No. You keep hitting each other down. It's, it's cute. <laughs> Shut up and switch places with me. Okay. To switch places and you're just really dark. I like the corner. But why would you put this in the middle? We still keep hitting arms! Wedding's almost done, but uh, my video is not entirely edited and needs to be uploaded. Uh, and I have other things to do throughout the day, so I'm gonna take off early because, well, um, you know, this vlog life. Sorry, uh, fast forward to 1.35 a.m. Uh, remember the last I was at the wedding and I left to get home and get some work done. Got that done, but basically I was just in the room for like three hours just lying down and I thought I'd be energized. But I was, but I was just tired more, tired, way more tired because I only got like four hours of sleep last night or something like that. If hotel walkways are not one of your favorite places of all time to be in, then there's something wrong with you. There's just something weirdly cozy and, and, and comforting about hotel walkways that's always just kept me happy. Always. Also, a uh, little bit of a funny story. Remember that video where I spoke of when I spoke of the iPhone, what is this? When I spoke of the iPhone 8. iPhone 8 is out and a lot of people are disappointed with what iPhone 8 in itself is. With something as special as the iPhone 10 coming out, they could not possibly put anything remotely extraordinary in the iPhone 8. You have to understand that it's going to take away from the already niche market of people willing to shell out a thousand dollars for a base model of a phone. I was a huge Apple fanboy growing up, right? Like. Like massive. Okay, part first of all, uh, little disclaimer. Pardon the uh, hobo look. I do not give a shit right now. That's that's about all it is. My hair is dry and fluffy. Wearing my glasses, whatever. Anyway, so I was a huge Apple fanboy growing up, and um, I was never allowed a new phone till the end of tenth grade because that was like mandatory in my house because I was a bad kid. 
um, and then focus on studies. But uh, completely fair. But so anyway, so I was um, obviously always wanted an iPhone. And after my 10th grade, I pleaded and convinced my parents to get me the latest iPhone then for my birthday and for my 16th birthday. Uh, after my exams got over my boards, my birthday is on the 20th of March and has always, always been during exams. It sucks. <sighs> but anyway, I convinced my parents to get me the iPhone 6. And for my 16th birthday, I was bought an iPhone 6, 16 GB. It was one of the greatest days of my life. But then, funny story. Uh, just about a year later, when I just thought started going to Bombay on a regular basis, this is when I first discovered the local trains in Mumbai. And it was absolutely splendid, super fast, skips traffic, and cheap. I was like, yo, this is amazing. So I used to travel in style. I had my backpack on, my power bank charging, my phone in my pocket with zippers, my earphones on, listen to music, wired earphones back then. And um, the third time I'm traveling by train, my phone gets stolen straight out of my pocket. It was zipped up, there was a charger and earphones plugged in. The train reaches the platform, I take one step and it's gone. That sucked. It was terrible. Let's not get into that though. Uh, for the next few months, I used an old iPhone 4. Till such a point where the battery was completely demolished and uh, it needed to be plugged into a power bank at all times. And it slowly expanded to such an extent where using it further could have it explode on my face. And I needed a new phone anyway. I was just trying to detach myself from the world at that point in time. So, I had some money saved up. I didn't make a lot of money back then, but I had some money saved up. And I bought myself a second-hand iPhone 6, 64 GB this time. Awkwardly enough, uh, the only reason I started vlogging was because I convinced myself that vlogging on a cell phone would be easy and not as hard and uh, pressurizing as anything else. So, <laughs> uh, so funnily enough, if I didn't have my phone stolen out of my pocket, I didn't go through that trauma, I might not have ever started vlogging at all. Look where we are now. <laughs> but anyway, point is, I uh, got this beautiful little phone, starting using with this wallet case at the back. Amazing, served me super well for the longest time. 100 and something vlogs. Uh, built a lot of my businesses around this. Made a lot of money off of it. Work costs, beautiful. But it's been a little over a year now and it's extremely slow and the battery on this thing is gone too. <coughs> I was planning on getting it replaced but I know that wouldn't last for long. So I made the conscious decision and got an iPhone. It is absolutely beautiful it's a gorgeous phone like absolutely amazing got all my data backed up it's amazing it's the iphone 8 plus i picked it up uh i could have gone for the x it wasn't too much more expensive than this but it's a little flashy and uh it's too too much of a statement i feel like this is a little more low-key and uh it was all right so i was completely fine with that i wanted to try this big sized I like it. So I'm I'm really happy with it. It's an incredibly fast phone. It's making me quite happy. I'm really excited to try wireless charging and whatnot. So we'll do a lot of stuff with that soon. But basically after the wedding got back super tired in the evening, went out for dinner, I was just dead all over. I took my camera around but I'm not in the mood to film. I'm not in the mood to film. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for all the support I've been getting the past few days. I know my recent thumbnails have been absolute fire. No credit to me. A uh, little buddy of mine back in Pune, his name's Niels. He makes these thumbnails for me, he's a darling. And Main Street's new video is out! Okay, for those of you who don't know, for those of you who don't know, Main Street is a fashion based company. I started in Pune with my friends like Raman Kush. We're trying to bring street fashion to India. Sorry, I said this a lot on the blog, so I'm gonna say it really quick. Anyway, so we launched last week, we launched, we dropped with our intro, then we did our first podcast. And now we released our first style video ever. It's about the off white industrial belt. Make sure to check it out up here. It's uh, it's got me in it. It's it's a really cool video. If you don't mind me saying, I really 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 like it. Check it out. I'm super excited. For it. Make sure to subscribe to Main Street. We're doing some really cool stuff. It's gonna be way bigger than my channel very 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 soon. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for the support in the past few days. It means the absolute world. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel, and comment your thoughts down below on whether you like this and if you'd like me to do something else. Uh, but that's about it for today. Thank you for watching. Good night.